Hi everyone, welcome back for part 37 of Let's Play Discworld 2. If you recall, we were about to give this to Dibbler. And hopefully, we go. get everything started in making Novel our movies. You call these novelties? I've never seen the likes of this sort of thing before. Exactly. That the That's why they're novelties. Go. I suppose so. I hate it when logic turns against me. <laughs> Can you go and get philosophical on someone else's time, please? Some of us have got a game to play. That's it. <laughs> I think we have everything. The jingle, the band, the girl, the novelties. Not to mention that the lead actor's out of makeup and ready to go. Right then. So it's lights, camera, angstrom. What do you mean, action? Oh, well, I suppose so, if you think that's easier. Come on, we've got some filming to do. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. Dibbler. Rinse when working the camera? Really? Is that such a bright idea? No. Yeah, get out of my face. All right! Lights! Camera! Achtung! Actin! Actinium! I'll get on with it! Cue death! Now is the winter of our discontent, made all the more drizzly by the lack of death. Ooh, to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion, and snuff it. Or to keep drawing breath, and lose all fashion sense forevermore. It's still better than Shia LaBeouf. So, what do you think? I'm trying not to. Ready? Cue piano! Piano? Roll em! Makeup! Ouch. Now is the winter of our discontent, made all the more drizzly by the lack of uh, death. Ooh, to be or not to be, that's the question. Uh, whether to be extremely cool, reach the heights of fashion uh, and snuff it, or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. Ready for the porcelain scene? Um, uh -oh. <laughs> look, look, can we just discuss this script for a moment? Roll em. I knew we forgot to get something. Ouch. Makeup! But how do you hurt death? Now is the, the, the winter of our, of our tent, the discontent. Made all the more drizzly by the by the lack lack of death. Oh, oh to be or, or or not not to be that 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 is the answer. Um, He's having trouble now, to isn't be it? extremely cold, reaching the the heights of fashion and and sniffing, or or to keep drawing breath and lose all fashion sense forevermore. Okay, everyone. The being smashed by a safe scene. <laughs> and roll em. No, 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 look here. Uh. Makeup. Now, Mr. Dibbler, now. What? What's he talking about? Nothing, love, nothing. Now look, I've told you before, it'll he be far to too messy. Things. Help! I want to see my agent. All right, now, Death, stand by for Julian's extra special scene. And cue. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait a minute. What, <clears throat> what, 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 what's all this about a special scene? Read your script, love. <sighs> Here, Julian, explain how this next bit goes, will you? It goes whoosh, blam! Stuff flying everywhere! Did you not tell our boy that there were special scenes involved? I'm not doing it. Oh, all right. I'll go and find a stunt double. Oh, Honestly, you get some people in front of a camera and they think they're the queen of the May. A skeleton stunt double, indeed. 
Oh, where are we gonna find a skeleton that wants to... Huh, a skeleton that wants a stunt double, huh? Just what we needed. Dibbler in Cut Me Own... Death? Yes, I'm not sure this is really quite his look. Well, hmm. So we need a skeleton stunt double. I know where we can find a skeleton. Not a human skeleton, but a skeleton. I think you remember, don't you? Skeleton in the closet? One of those type of things? Yeah, sure you remember. You have to. Okay, you don't have to, but you know. It makes sense to. And now, I believe our resident Banshee, who has finally found a voice, wishes to witness for us. Brother Banshee! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Reg, thank you. And I think that what I mean to say by thank you is a uh, thank us. A thank you addressed to all of us in that we are all part of the same body. Well, not exactly the same physical body, but the same spiritual body even though we are all actually inside bodies which are in fact spiritual i think what i'm trying to encapsulate here is a sense of out of body experience that is an inner body experience for us all right on brother yes yes exactly right on right on and in. Seeing as the death within is also without, and exterior being is reflecting external processes, I think what we have here is very, very real. And by real, just let me say that this is also very surreal. Surreal in that we transcend the essence of the mundane reality to, hmm, to, hmm, to redefine ourselves within the framework of our own perceptions of our role, yeah? And by role, I, I mean role sounds like role, doesn't it? So a motion forwards is implied in taking on that nomenclature. <laughs> so, forward motion is an inherent part of us, and as it is of us, it's also not of us, but around us, and through us, and, and, had I finished? Possibly. Anywhere well Please. said, Brother Banshee. Okay, finally. <laughs> I think we have just enough time to talk to our skeleton friend here. I was just wondering whether a career in the clickies might be just exactly what you're looking for. Oh, I see. The local actors league won't let you in until you have proof that your family is from overseas. Bloody cheek of some people. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll have a look around and see what I can find to help prove your case for sheep in the arts. I'll get some evidence that proves that your ancestors came from distant climes. Okay, and with that, it is time to cut the video. And I will go and explain just a little bit here next time. But until then, uh, take care everyone. See you later. <laughs>